All right, good morning, folks. The ice bucket is filled with ice. It's been sitting in there for the last hour. And uh, just as I am running right now, I, I do want to tell people that I was trying to run away from the ice bucket challenge. Uh, not because I didn't want to necessarily donate or it's because I was afraid of the ice cold water, but uh, mainly because I'm just very busy. So honestly, I didn't have time. And so at this time, I want to thank those who nominated me. I got nominated by three people. Drew Klein was first, Madeline Rose Kingan was second, and then the third and final one was yesterday from Sammy Slippo. So thank you. Again, this is for the ALS Foundation, which is to help raise awareness for the Lou Gehrig's disease, which I had no personal connection to until about a month ago when I conducted an interview of my good friend John Wardzala of Southern Connecticut. You can click on the link in the comment section and watch his video. It's pretty amazing. My good friend John Wardzala not only had Lou Gehrig's disease, but he overcame it. And not only did he overcome it, he overcame it twice in his life, which I think is an incredible miracle of God. So that's probably a better video testimony than this ice bucket challenge video. So at this time, I'm gonna go ahead and get dunked. So with that being said, I want to nominate my, my parents, Orlando and Lorena Ferrer, my sisters, Donnelline Ferrer and her two children, my older sister, Arlene King, and her husband, Tony King, and their children. I also lastly nominate Tracy Bambasi and her daughter Gracie, as well as Nancy Lee Dishritz and her two little ones, Leopold and Charlize, and of course Heather's parents, Jim and Connie Bambasi. Thank you very much.